Welcome to the Gibbs Cam 5 Minute Demo. Today we're going to show you a little bit about surface flow. Now surface flow has always been a very quick way to cut a surface, but many times we wanted to uh, cut multiple surfaces, which sometimes did not have the flow that we wanted through all the surfaces. So in 2014, Gibbs made some improvements for surface flow cutting. We have two parts here with multiple surfaces. You can see this part here has three surfaces that we want to do some surfacing. And this mold for glasses has about four different surfaces here on the edge here. A little fillet there. So what we're going to do, the first process we're going to open is going to be the climb, surface flow climb. You can see there's also a new menu called spiral. And the same ones we've had there before. But internally there's been some improvements on the surface flow. So what we want to do is I'm going to click on this surface right here, and instead of holding down the control key and selecting multiple surfaces like this, sometimes it's a little tough, you might select the wrong surface. Uh, Gibbs has also made some improvements on uh, selecting, which many times you can just click on one surface, go down to select, and here I'm just going to click on select fillets. You can see it's going to select all the fillets around that corner there. And I'm just going to give it, do it. And you can see I zoom this up here. Nice flow around the part there. If you do cut part render, you can see it's going around in a nice cut there. Okay, the second process we're going to do is spiral. So basically the same thing, but we're going to do a spiral cut instead. So you can see basically the same type of cut, but this time we're spiraling down as we go around the part there. Again, cut part render. Now notice on here, this little gouge we have here. The reason we have a gouge here is because I've turned gouge protection off. Now as you know, surface flow brings the tangent point of the ball end mill to the very edges of a surface, in this case, right down to here, which means the end of the uh, ball end mill is going to gouge into our part. So on surface flow, under the option tabs, you have one that says gouge protect. So if we turn that on, click on redo, you can see the gouge points is going to go up and over to our clearance plane and back down. And you can see we have a very nice cut with no gouges in our part. The next process I'm going to show you is cross without gouge. The same surface here, same process, but this time we told it to cut along the short edge. And as you can see, it's cutting along the short edge around this part. You can see the tangent point of the end mill going to the tangent points. There, here's our gouge points again. It's going up and over those. But you can see a very quick way to cut a surface, single or multiple surfaces. Now on this other part here, you can see we have three choices there. Again, you could click on select tangent faces. You can see it selects everything. Or you can also hold down the control key and select the surfaces there. Normally I like to select the surfaces in the flow I want the tool to cut. And I'm just going to click on do it. And you can see we have a nice flow there. But we have it jumping over the holes over here, which is fine. We'll still get a very nice cut here but maybe I don't want them jumping over the holes. So many times, I'll put the part in the body bag to keep my original part, and I'll just duplicate it. My original's in the body bag. Here's my part back out on the screen again just by uh, clicking on duplicate. Now I, what I want to do here is heal up these holes. So I'm going to select these holes here, go to my 3D palette, click on unstitch, 
you can see now this part is healed up. And the nice thing about Gibbs is it gave you the plugs that went in those holes. So if you got a complicated part that you need to uh, make an electrode for EDM, uh, you have your part there. Okay, let's bring the one back without the holes in there. Again, we'll select those surfaces and click on redo. You can see it misses those holes there. Now this is a part where we don't have adjacent walls or anything, so we really don't need gouge protection on. Notice if I do turn on gouge protect, redo, you're going to get little spikes up here. Okay, just trying to stay away from any other surface that might encounter a gouge. But here we really don't need it, so I'm going to turn gouge protection off. Click on redo. You can see we have a very nice flow through that part. Again, cut part render. So surface flow is a very fast way to cut a, a multiple surfaces or single surfaces. Thanks for watching the Gibbs Cam demo.